Hi everybody, I'm Evelyn and I'd like to tell you a story about my father who became the fanciest of hobos. I'm 12 years old, my family was doing fine until recently. We had plenty of money and a big beautiful house. All of that was just for me. My parents adored me, dad called me princess and mom was so gentle and kind. Other people lived in our house too. When I was a little girl I thought they were family because they treated me so well. Our housemates lived in our house in their own rooms. In the evening, we would often gather in the spacious saloon and we'd all tell stories and laugh together. We'd wait for my dad to return home. He usually come in late because he worked so much. Dad wanted me to have everything. Our kitchen always smelled nice and our cooks would always prepare tasty treats. They knew exactly what each of us liked. On weekends, we'd have guests. My parents' friends and business partners would visit us and I'd play with their children. Mom and Dad worked together, they ran a fashion enterprise of their own. They would always say how proud they were of their shared business and how it made them even closer to each other. Mom studied to become a fashion designer and then she started creating collections for women of various social statuses. That is for everybody. Later on, she created children's wear for little girls. She'd use me as a model to design amazing collections. I remember going to a fashion show with other girls, but I never made a fuss about other girls showing off my clothes. I knew I was always the first one to wear the prettiest outfits. Then dad got involved in the business as well. He became mom's muse and later her partner. They kept expanding their enterprise and they worked really hard for their success. We started traveling worldwide as our designs garnered more and more attention. I participated in big fashion shows in Milan, Paris and other big cities worldwide. Every girl envied my outfits and many of them commissioned clothes from my parents. There wasn't a woman in our town who didn't know about our designs. My parents treated everyone kind and they gladly helped their customers select an outfit for any kind of job or celebration. Of course, they could stop there and be content with their good work so far. But one night, Dad's old friend came to visit us. He was a very pleasant man and Dad was delighted to see him. They talked until early morning. After breakfast, they all went to the office together. Next evening, I heard my parents talk about expanding their business and teaming up with Dad's friend. I spent most of my time alone now. My parents were busy all the time. They'd go abroad for supplies, record new employees or expand their production facilities. All they talked about at home was work, business, new collections and recent shows. The best fashion designers worked for our enterprise. They were swamped with commissions and everyone was happy. Then disaster struck like a thunderbolt from a clear sky. Our entire enterprise was bankrupted and closing down. Strangers invaded our home. They were walking around and talking to everyone and searching for things and taking our computers and documents. I didn't recognize my own father. He became thin and hollow-cheeked, his face went gray, his eyes sunk in, and his gaze didn't radiate warmth like he used to. Mom cried a lot. She tried to hide her tears from me, but of course I understood something terrible had happened. After a while, we learned that Dad's former friend and partner had been arrested. He had been involved in dishonest business before and he was guilty of a huge embezzlement. He used us to clear it off. Our property was seized and we ended up on the streets. Dad was arrested for a short while, but they never proved him guilty, so they set him free. It pains me to remember how we spent those few days without him. Our former friends that used to visit us on weekends turned their backs on us. We found refuge in a tiny apartment with mom's distant relatives. Dad flat out refused to start again from square one. He was crushed by the betrayal and humiliation he had gone through. We keep trying to convince him to go back to normal life, but our words fall on deaf ears. We can see him stooping lower every day. He spends his nights in basements and his mornings at dumpsters. His clothes, which used to be so fashionable, quickly got dirty so mom would drag him home to make him wash and change. Then he refused to wash or wear clean clothes at all. He wears garish, mismatched cast-offs that he finds in dumpsters now. He calls himself a fancy hobo, and I suppose it looks very funny. People who see him on the street probably have no idea that it's the same person who used to outfit the entire town. All socialities would adorn themselves in his creations, and now look at him. Mom still hopes our life will turn around one day. 
She knows her husband well and she's sure he'll realize that this kind of life isn't going to make things better. I too believe Dad will come back to us and earn back his success. He's good at his job and he's not deterred by any kind of work. As soon as he gets himself together, I'm sure we'll push through. What matters right now is that we're all alive and well. Would you like to see more episodes? Support us by hitting like and subscribe. If you want to see your story in one of our videos, send it to this email address.